guys, welcome back to my channel. Love is spring, like everything is new. The sun, the flowers, calling on warm days over to But I. channel hi i'm up with papa dinti and i would love to say if you hit that subscribe button the old people welcome back and if you're new here and loving the content you're watching don't forget to subscribe so i filmed the entire video and i forgot that i did not give an intro and outro to this so uh so yeah this is me giving you an outro so basically this is the look i created like this is like a super uh beginner friendly glam look uh yeah everything is detailed i've tested a couple of new products and yeah this is a quite easy look which everybody can recreate and if you did recreate don't forget to tag me on my instagram you'll get my socials in description box and yeah i'll try to put the products we used also in description box if you want to check it out and to all the lovely people all my muslim friends uh, who are watching happy eid eid mubarak i guess that's the way you say so i hope you all have a safe and good festive out there and anybody recreating yeah please do tag me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like we are so close to 500 and it will mean a lot okay with no further blabber let's just get into the video guys so this is me wising over so the first step is definitely concealing because i'm doing a uh, eye look which has some glitter and shimmer i feel they might be a little fall out so i started with my concealer as the base um i even did it for my face so that's the first step i'm applying where i have any you know spots or dark circles and just blending it in tap tap is the rule don't forget that just tap it all in <laughs> don't know why it is this step but i just took my compact and just did some um baking yeah that's what i did so in here i'm taking the transition shade as i shown you took two colors mixed it and i'm applying on my crease uh, you can see the motion of the brush it's just over the crease just up and down and just blending it blending it in it's like circles and then blending i zoomed in you guys so you can see better i don't know i feel so weird voicing over but yeah that's exactly what i'm doing on both of my eyes uh, just doing the transition sheet that's it all about This is like a main eyeshadow so I took a deeper brown a darker brown and I am just putting it on on the outer corner of my eyes I've got this pointed kind of brush on the set and it really puts the color on the eyes so that's what I did and after this what I've do what I'm doing is I'm just making a kind of angle as you can see this a uh, inverted v kind of thing going on at the outer corner of the eye so i'm just stay doing that and after that after depositing the color i'm just blending it in with the blur brush and just um making that v the wing thing going in the right way that's what i'm doing just blend and see the wing is in place <laughs> taking the same shade i'm going in into the inner corner i'm just leaving the middle part if you can see and doing the inner and outer corner and just blending all of it in and make sure there's a wing on the outer corner and just blending the beautiful brown in in the inner corner that's what i'm doing make sure you just leave the middle portion you'll see what we'll do next <music> Thank you. 
even though you're not getting the wing in the first time as you can see i'm just trying and you can definitely try and try to bring a small wing and blend it all in in circle motion just move the brush and make sure it's all blended because otherwise it looks so cracked and it doesn't give you the beautiful effect Step, I'm taking some concealer just a bit and where we left in the middle part there and just tapping it in and just concealing that part so that whenever we put the glitter it gets a more beautiful base to stay. this beautiful glitter from sugar cosmetics palette it's amazing and just dab it in with my finger after this you can definitely you know blend it in with the brush but initially i'm doing it my fingers <music> So here I'm just blending the glitter and the brown in so that it gives a combined effect otherwise it would look so 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 you know a weird so just blend the hell out of it and make it look good if you don't blend it the glitter looks awkward there. obviously you can know that i'm doing my eyeliner so i've not thought of doing it as thought of skipping it but it happened the wing just happened so i just did it so i did a thin wing and a thick line uh, for the front of the eye so yeah you can skip it using a eyeshadow of black or you can totally do it yourself so yeah <music> now i'm moving on to my base and doing my foundation so i'm using the lacme foundation taking it and dabbing it in and just blending it all in into my skin to get the perfect perfect texture <music> forget to do the foundation and blending it in your neck part even that's truly important to match the shade one thing you want to put in your mind is you can use the bottom of the beauty blender to blend the foundation on the major parts and for the eye you can use the tip of it as you can see it makes it easy in the next step i'm just baking my under eyes and the other areas uh, baking is basically to uh, stop it from creasing and oiling so when you bake it plays intact the concealer the foundation doesn't crease after time goes on is contour and you're gonna make a fish powder like that kind of and i don't know what i'm doing there and you're gonna contour your um, jawline uh, now for an uplifted face you can do it from the like cheekbones and just do it in and also don't forget to um contour your jawline and your uh, chin area and also on the forehead so that it gives a good effect of total contour and it just gives more definition to your face next we're gonna get that shine baby so i'm just taking the highlighter for the nose i'm doing it with my finger because it suits the best and look at that glow man so you're gonna uh, highlight your cheekbones and uh, your little bit of forehead a chin whatever and if you're wearing a top which shows your collarbones and stuff 
just highlight it baby you just gotta show the beautiful collarbones i know i don't have them but even then so don't forget to highlight your brow bone because it gives a good effect to your eyeshadow look step is blush just smile and apply on the apples of your cheek and even the cheekbones so that you get an uplifted look lips i'm combining two uh, liquid lipsticks one is my glam in the shade r bomb another one is ads to give a little bit of pop of color because my eyes are neutral uh, with brown so i just wanted to give some pop in on my lips so that's the thing i'm doing you can highlight your cupid um bow like where you have that uh what's that you kind of thing on your lips so yeah you can do that for an effect 